Hey everybody, this is Modified Darvis Box MDB. I'm coming at you here with a, a, a real quick video on the S&P 500 earnings as some new data has come out from the S&P 500 website. Uh, before we get into that, for people who don't know who I am, basically I've created a system based on this book, How I Made Two Million in the Stock Market by Nicholas Darvis. Uh, check it out on Amazon. It's a really good book. In a nutshell, I look for patterns that you know, sideways patterns that, you know, we call Darvis boxes and bullish ones go higher and bearish ones do not. But that's, that's the basic essence of my strategy. But where I am different from everybody else that I can tell, at least I look at fundamentals as well, sales and earnings. In my opinion, I believe you have to look at both technicals, which is charts and, and all that, but you also need to look at the fundamentals uh, behind your stocks and behind indexes, etc. also, because otherwise you're only seeing half the picture. Darvis himself called himself a techno-fundamentalist, and I've, I feel I am the same way in regards to that. Okay, so let's get in and look here at the numbers for the index. Latest data is, uh, is as of September 5th. We are on track to almost being fully reported for the quarter. Looks like we're going to print about a $35 per share EPS for the S&P 500. That's pretty good in terms of historic profitability. We've never been more profitable. It's, it's really incredible. The S&P 500 has never been uh, this profitable. The year-over-year -year growth, however, kind of sucks. This really blows. To be in single digits, it's, un it's unbelievable. Basically, this is all the Federal, Federal Reserve's fault. They raise interest rates and, and hit the brakes on the economy and profit growth, and now we're patiently waiting for them to get around to hit, uh, uh, and removing some of these obstacles so that things can start growing again at a faster rate. The good news is forecasts do have us going from single digit growth back into double digit growth. And, you know, hopefully if they cut rates a little bit more, you know, hopefully that accelerates. Valuations are not bad. I put us between about an 18 forward PE and a 22 current PE. Uh, in my opinion, the market looks around six to nine months in, in advance, depending upon how bullish and bearish. 18 to 22 puts us between an average market and a strong market, which I think when we look at the index, here's the S&P 500, I think we can agree with that. We're not incredibly weak, but we're not as super strong as we think as well, sort of in that middle area. But I think this historic pro uh, profitability is what's helped, you know, you know, lessen the impact of some of these shocks. Fed makes a mistake, but lo and behold, the profits come back. So right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot as far as markets goes. Um, if people out there are screeching that the market's overvalued, they're wrong. It's not. We're... We might be a smidge overvalued, but we're not greatly overvalued. So I'm struggling to find the recession. I don't see it. I don't know where it is. You know, maybe some smart bond guys will find it. Beats me. I don't have those answers. Based on what I see here, I believe that stocks will be a really good place to be in the future going forward. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.